Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to crochet this shell column stitch. So I'm going to be demonstrating it with bulky weight yarn, but this is the same stitch here with lighter weight yarn. So this is a design that I'm working on right now. All right, let's get started. So for this pattern, you want to chain in multiples of eight plus two. I'm going to chain 24 plus two. Okay, so that's 24. I'm going to chain two more stitches. So starting on the right side, this is row one. You are going to work one single crochet in the third chain from the hook. So here's the first chain, second, and third. So right into the third chain, working on the back side, insert your hook into that back hump right there. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those two loops. So this first chain here is your first single crochet and this second one here that we just worked is your second single crochet. So we want to work one more single crochet into the next chain stitch. Now we're going to skip three chains, one, two, three. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're skipping three. We're going to work one single crochet in each of the next five chains. So one, two, three, into the fourth one here. one single crochet, two, three, four, and five. So you're going to repeat that until you have six stitches left. So chain five, that's three, four, five. Skip three stitches, one, two, three. So skip the three chains. And then into the fourth, one single crochet and into each of the next four chains, one single crochet in each. So you want five single crochets. Okay, so we have six stitches left, six chains. We're going to chain five, three, four, five, skip three, one, two, three, and into the last three chains, we're going to work one single crochet in each of the last three chains. Now we're ready for row two. Row two, you're going to chain two and turn. So one of these chains, the first chain counts as a single crochet. We're going to skip this stitch here and this stitch. So into the last single crochet, we're going to work one single crochet. Now into this chain five, we're going to work a shell stitch. So a shell stitch for this pattern is going to be nine treble crochet stitches. Okay, so 
So to work a treble, you're going to yarn over twice, one, two, right into the chain five space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. With the double crochet, you yarn over once, but we're working a treble, which you will yarn over twice. So you want to work nine treble crochets into the chain five space. And that is your shell stitch. Okay, so now in these five single crochet stitches, what you're going to do is work one single crochet into the first single crochet, chain two, and then skip these three and work one single crochet into this last single crochet here. So into the first single crochet, work one single crochet, chain two, one, two, skip these three, one single crochet into the last single crochet. Okay, we're at the chain five space. We're going to work one shell stitch, which is nine treble crochet stitches. Okay, so you're going to repeat that working the one single crochet, chain two, skip these three, one single crochet, and then a shell stitch in the chain five space. When you get to the end, you're going to have two single crochets and a chain stitch from your turning chain. So you're going to work one single crochet in the next single crochet stitch, chain one, and then into the turning chain, so we're going to skip the next single crochet into the turning chain, one single crochet. Row three, chain eight and turn. So the chain five counts as a double treble stitch and chain three. So if you need, you can place a marker to separate the two. So the chain five counts as a double treble stitch. One, two, three, four, five. So into this fifth chain, I'm going to mark it. And then this, these three chain threes are going to be your chain three stitches. So we're going to turn. So the shell stitch has nine trebles. You're going to find the center three and work one single crochet in each of those three treble crochets. You can just find the center three or count one, two, three, and then the fourth treble, one single crochet. Into the next two, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Okay, so now we're going to work one double treble into the chain two space. So for the treble, we yarned over twice. For the double treble, we're going to yarn over three times. So to work a double treble, you're going to yarn over three times. One, two, and three. Into this chain two space, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we're going to yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to yarn over, pull through two, and then two more times until we have one loop on our hook. Chain three. And then one single crochet in each of the three trebles in the center of the shell. One, two, three. Chain three. So you're going to repeat that, ending with one double treble into the single crochet or the turning chain at the end of your row. 
again yarn over three times insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops four times chain three one single crochet in each of the center three stitches so here's the end chain three and then finally one double treble into the turning chain Row four, you're going to chain four and turn. One, two, three, four. So we're going to work five single crochets across here, starting with one single crochet before the single crochet, the three single crochets, and then one after. So just into the space of this chain stitch as close as you can to the single crochet work one single crochet. Don't worry too much about it if it's further away because when you work your next one it'll bring it together and you can slide it over if you need to. So into the next two single crochets and then right after into this space here we're going to work one single crochet. So now there's five single crochets right there. And you're going to repeat chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then into the next set of three single crochets, we're going to do the same thing. Work five single crochets starting right here before this one, and then the three, and then one after these single crochets. So I'm working into this big space here as close as I can to the single crochet. One in each of the next three single crochets. Okay, And then one last single crochet into this space. So after you work your last five single crochets here, you're going to end with chain three and one single crochet into this fifth chain. Remember this is the chain eight where it was a double treble and a chain three and I marked the fifth chain that's where you're going to work your last single crochet. So chain five one two three four five one single crochet into the space here one single crochet into each of the next three single crochets and one single crochet into the next space okay this is the end i'm going to chain three one two three and into this fifth chain here i'm going to work one single crochet row five I'm going to chain four and turn so you want to chain four and turn the chain four counts as your first treble crochet into this chain three here you're going to work four treble crochet stitches to work the treble again it's yarn over twice into this chain three space you're going to work four treble crochet stitches. Okay, so that's four, and then this chain four here counts as the fifth one. So in this 
set of five single crochets, you're going to work one single crochet into the first single crochet, chain two, one, two, and one single crochet into this last single crochet. So you're skipping three, one single crochet into the fourth one. In this chain five space, we're going to work another shell stitch. So this is going to be similar to this row except that it's staggered. The shells will be in between these two shells. So in this chain five space, work a shell stitch which is nine treble crochet stitches. In this set of five single crochets, you want to work one single crochet, chain two, skip three, and then one single crochet. So you're going to repeat that until you get to your last set of five single crochets. And then instead of working a full shell, you're, you're going to work five treble crochets into this last chain space here. Row six, you're going to chain one and turn. You're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch right here, and then another single crochet in the second treble here. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, one double treble into the chain two down here. Again, that's yarning over three times for the double treble stitch. So this is going to be similar to this row here, except again where it's off-centered. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the next three trebles, one single crochet in each of the next three, so into the three center stitches. Chain three, one, two, three, one double treble into the chain two space. Make sure you yarn over three times. One, two, three. And then you just repeat that. Chain three. Okay, after your last double treble, you're going to chain three and you're going to work two single crochets into this one and your turning chain. So one in this treble and then one in your turning chain. So for most flat crocheting or crocheting in rows, you always want to match your beginning and end. So here we have two single crochets, so you want to end with two single crochets. Row seven, chain one and turn. You're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So the first two stitches, one single crochet into this first space here. So the repeat is going to be chain five. And then into the three single crochets, just like before, we're going to work one, two, three, four, and five single crochets. So the first single crochet is into the chain space, right before the three single crochets. One single crochet in each of the three single crochets, and then one single crochet in the next chain space. Okay, so you have your five single crochets just like you do down here. Now you're going to repeat that all the way across, ending with three single crochets in the end. 
So that's three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One single crochet into the space here. One single crochet into each of the next three single crochets. And one single crochet into the next space. Chain five. So right here where you have two single crochets left, you're going to end with one single crochet in the chain space and then one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. And then one single crochet in this last stitch here. Okay, so that is the end of your seven row repeat. Repeat rows two through seven until you're happy with your size. So here is one that I worked with lighter weight yarn and a lot smaller hook. So this is cotton. Okay, so I've worked a few more rows and this is what it looks like. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you will be notified every time I post a video. I'll see you next time.